Hello friends, I'm Dr. Mukh Mohit. I'm a faculty for community medicine or preventive medicine. The today's video is going to share with you the update about the NEET entrance exam. NEET entrance exam, as we all know, it's a single day, single uh, computer based session exam. And now we will not have those uh, multiple days, multiple session exam. Well, that's a good news for us that at least uh, nobody is going to get worried or nobody is going to get bothered about how the quality of questions would be or how the different uh, pro metric system would be or how are we going to rate the entrance exam without comparing the previous and the current is. Uh, if you talk about uh, MLE entrance exam, if you talk about uh, Canadian entrance exam, if you talk about UK entrance exam, any entrance exam, they usually have these pro metric systems where we are equating the questions but somehow uh, it was not uh, up to the bench mark that uh, we had uh, uh, the system in India so now we are back again to the single day single session exam well that's a positive note for all of us that uh, the quality of questions would improve the quality the level of the MCQs would be standardized and every student will have an equal opportunity of attempting the same MCQ in the same stipulated time so well that's a positive thing as far as a student is concerned, as far as you are concerned, I would suggest that uh, you should not think so much about uh, how the exam would be. I've been getting a lot of uh, messages on social media regarding how the exam would be or uh, how should we go about preparing. Well, I feel that uh, once you're prepared, if you are talking about the cardiovascular system, you're talking about the urogenital system, once you're prepared with the anatomy, with the physiology, I don't think uh, that uh, actually bothers you that whether you are preparing for a single day session exam or a multiple day session exam. So your basic thought process, your basic motive is to understand the concepts that we have in medicine. I personally feel, I would like to share with you that I personally feel that the most important subject right now should be, you see, you have two months in hand. The most important subject that is going to uh, be that deciding factors would not be like uh, skin anesthesia, radio psychiatry or the smaller subjects. Actually, they are the conceptual subjects like medicine, surgery, gynepedes, the four core subjects. To study these core subjects, you need to be very strong in the basic subjects. What are the basic subjects? You should be good in physiology, you should be good in pharma, pathology, microbiology. So, pathology is nothing but medicine, surgery, gynae, pediatrics. Pharma is nothing but a congregation of medicine, surgery, gynae, peds on the basis of pathology or physiology. To study pharmacology, you should have good physiology, you should have good pathology and you should have a good understanding of the biochemical uh, processes as well. So I feel all these six, seven subjects which are like physiology, medicine, surgery, patho, pharma, all these are integrated subjects. You can't differentiate them. You get a question on, uh, you get a single simple question on maybe ECG changes. So ECG would uh, take into consideration that whether the student understand the cardiac cycle. And based on the cardiac cycle, whether you are able to interpret the ECG changes and based on the clinical scenario that the question might have given, whether you are able to understand what we are actually going to mark in the MCQ option. So I feel uh, take home message is that uh, irrespective of a single day or a multiple day session exam, your strategy should be to have your concepts right. Point number one. Point number two. You have two months. How to go about in two months? I'm not bothered so much whether you have a one day session exam or a 10 day session exam. What I'm bothered is whether you are prepared for a testing platform, yes or no. So if, you, if we consider your, uh, your status right now, you have two months in hand. So I would sincerely suggest that after two months, your exam would be an MCQ based system. If it is an MCQ based system, I think the most uh, <clears throat> dangerous thing that you would do right now is <clears throat> you start studying the theory. If you are going to appear for an MCQ exam after two months, I feel that for the next two months, you should prepare only for the MCQs. That means whatever notes you have, take any book which has all these seven years. I would suggest you to take up five to seven years 
MCQ book from the previous AIMS exam. Then you take up 5-7 years of PGI entrance exam, you take up 5-7 years of JIPMER and you take up the recent 5-7 years of uh, DNB or the NEET entrance exam. You start doing these MCQs. I, in this order only I would uh, be preferentially going with AIMS, then I'll go with NEET entrance exam and then I'll take up the DNB, then I'll also take up the JIPMER and lastly I'll also take up the PGI entrance questions in this order I would suggest. Anyways, you take up 5-7 years MCQs, you see, let's say you're starting with the ENT or you're starting with surgery. So you pick up first question. The first question was on hydroseal. So you study hydroseal, you find out that that was a fairly easy question. The next question was somewhere regarding the sutures. So you need to study that table regarding the sutures. So you make your plan accordingly. You study the question, you study the answers and you study the topic. I think it is imperative that if you study full cardiology, you study full uh, infective endocarditis, you study full uh, anything you study, there is a limit to ask questions. So once you understand that the topics will be repeated, it's the only way that this time we'll be asking you like this and the next time we we'll, might turn around and we might ask you something else based on the same topic, based on the same understanding. That's what you need to understand. Uh, let's take an example that uh, in 2012 there was a question on uh, the annual growth rate. I'll talk of a question from community medicine. The annual growth rate of a population is 1.2. It will double in. It, uh, the annual growth rate is 2. It will double in how many years? So based on that uh, the student should be answering that if it is 2 it will probably double in 35 years. After a few years, again the same question came in NEET entrance exam that if the annual uh, growth rate is 1.5, it will double in how many years. So same topic, question changed. And I think the last recent DNB entrance exam is the annual growth rate of a country is how much if it is going to double in 50 years. So option given were 1.3, 1.5, 1.7 and that's all. So it's the same concept, they're asking you again and again the same stories. And I think uh, that uh, everybody understands that, but you need to implement it. That take five, seven years MCQs, do the MCQs for two months. Every day you should take out some time to do the extra MCQs from AIMS exam, from PGI entrance exam, apart from what you are doing currently. Point number one. Point number two. Point number two is that most of the time, 90% of students come out of the entrance exam area and uh, tell their seniors or their mentors or their teachers that sir I, or ma'am I did very nice I studied very nicely but uh, there were 30 questions which uh, I could not um, attempt because of a very simple and I would say a stupid reason that you could not differentiate between the two options well that uh, probably comes when you have not revised so much to revise you should have a lesser syllabus so point number two is, point number one was to take all five, seven MCQ, years MCQ. Point number two is, I want you to understand, don't increase your syllabus, decrease. You take all the study notes that you have made. You take any guidebook, single guidebook, which has all the year MCQs, study that. Don't take up five, seven things, start studying medicine from five books. That is the worst thing you're doing. Take one book, study it five times. Obviously, you don't have five times right now. So you take, decrease your syllabus. Don't say that, he, oh, he's reading this, I'll also go and read this. Or she's reading this, I'll also go and read this. No, that's, that's the worst thing you can do to yourself. Concise your syllabus, right? So take five, seven years cycle. Concise your syllabus, whatever you have. See, in these two months, you are not going to bring down a mountain. Please try to understand this. It is, you're dealing with medicine. Medicine is immense. Medicine is huge ocean. You can't uh, summit, you can't conquer medicine. Medicine is like lakhs of diseases, right? So you have to limit somewhere. Where is that limit? Whatever done is done. Two months you have, focus on two months. Whatever best you can do in these two months, you should be bringing that. Do it again and again, right? So concise your syllabus. And third, and the last take-home messages, last take-home messages, let's say I want to play a match with you. 
So if I'm going to play a cricket match with you, why should I sit down in my street and play a gully cricket with you? I need to go into the same stadium where I'm going to play a match with you. What I mean to, what I want to say is that if I'm going for an MCQ entrance exam, I should sit down and do the maximum MCQs. What I mean to say by this that <clears throat> the internet is flooded with mock tests. You take up mock tests, you take up guidebook, uh, you, you take up grant tests, you take up mock tests, do 300 MCQs mock tests at least, at least two or three times a week. Two months you have, four weeks plus four weeks. <clears throat> Eight weeks, at least you do two to three mock tests per week. So if you're doing two to three mock tests, at least you're doing 16 to 20 mock tests before you go for an entrance exam. That's not going to help you anyway. Uh, don't think that you'll get the same MCQs in the exam, but there are two, three important things that you will be actually doing. You are preparing yourself for the final D-Day. You don't have that panic attack on the day because you have done 20, 25 mock tests within the last a short speed period of uh, two months. So point number one is it, uh, it uh, decreases the panic attack of the student on the final examination day. Second important thing is you are trying to simulate the whole uh, examination performance that you are going to perform on in November, December. You are trying to simulate that every day. So therefore you come to know whether your uh, unknown, unseen questions are they getting right or wrong. Don't think about negative marking too much. Negative marking is of course there you need to uh, stop your pencil pen somewhere you need to stop your clicking the uh, option somewhere so that type of exercise that you will do that i don't know a question i feel c is the right answer i click it and i find it's a wrong answer again i do it again i do it every time it's a wrong answer why on earth would you in a final entrance exam again you go and uh, answer a doubtful answer you shouldn't do that on the other hand my friend who was very okay type so he clicked he saw that this was the question he thought maybe b is the answer so he clicked, clicked b and b is, was the right answer again he tried again he got the right again that means his um, guesses guesswork was working very nice so you need to get trained on that so two types of training one is you are decreasing the stress phenomena second is you are getting trained on how to mark a guesswork so basically two three months you have you have to strike it hard i know of so many examples where students or uh, my even my colleagues and my seniors they had uh, studied for two to three months and they did very very f good in their entrance exam and uh, it does not matter like uh, how much time we spend what matters is how quality how good your quality of uh, planning and preparation was for the entrance exam, how many times you revised, how many MCQs you did, and how determined you were, right? So you, I know that it takes time to stay focused on everything. Stay focused, you have to hit hard, and you have to hit very, very hard. Strike one, strike gold is the only thing I always say to my students. Don't worry about the that this time I'll do this, this time I'll do this, next time I'll do not Nothing is going to happen. If you want to do it, today is the day, right? So all the very best. Don't worry about need. Best wishes for a very, very bright future. I know you all will do it, but the point you need to remember is MCQs, decrease syllabus, repetitions, right? Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye.